welcome back to another hot day. Today, I'm hoping to finally get my bed constructed. I've gone over it a lot of times in my head and it should be fairly simple. I'm literally just gonna be using, uh, I've got four bits of three by two. This CLF stuff is really good, but it's rarely ever fully straight, but it should be fine. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna use three of them as my main beams across the width of the van. And then I'm gonna cut a fourth bit have it running along each bottom. So what I'm gonna do is literally just cut a length here and screw it into these battens and then it will sort of rest on the top of this ply. Same with the other side and then have the three beams going across. Um, and I'll probably cut them sort of halfway down into this lengthways strip. That's it. And then obviously I just need to put, fix some slats in. So I'm going to measure up, I guess. You'll notice I set up my workbench in like the only part of shade you can find out here. So each of those lengths is 98 centimetres. Now, um, I don't have a circular saw, so it's either a case of using a jigsaw or a hand saw. So I've opted for a jigsaw. So now what I need to do is just mark where I'm going to, this beam is going to sit down onto this corner, same on this corner, and then exactly halfway down I'm going to do an indent. So I'm going to use my set square just to draw the lines so I know where the centre of this length of wood is, and then I'll mark where the centre point is, and then use this as a guide, and draw around it before I cut. There we go, got my slices I'm gonna cut out. or time. There you go, look. So each bit should fit nicely in that. Now the last thing we're going to do before I fit it in place is just do some pilot holes. So I'm going to I'll do one under I'll do one under here. Yeah, and probably just some pilot holes where I'm going to where it's going to fit up against the wall. One side done. Pretty sturdy. There we go. Look. So now I just need to measure the beams across, and then I'll sit them in place upright. Screw underneath to fix them in, and I'll do another screw this side on both sides.
go. So it's pretty sturdy. It's getting super hot now and the footage is about to start, so I'm going to stop for the day and tomorrow put the slats on. See them. Welcome back to day two. So today I'm doing the slats for the bed. And I've realised something already. I was wondering why from this angle it looks a bit wonky, but then from the other angle it doesn't. Like it's, it's, it's level, like it's flat, but from here it looks a bit wonky. And I've realised it's because I've put one of these round the wrong way. So this middle beam goes slightly diagonally. What an idiot. So now I'm thinking, would it be better just to leave it a little bit wonky and just put the slats in? But then that means I'm going to have to sort of, it's going to have shorter slats and then slightly bigger slats up here. Or take it off and put it back on again. It's one of those situations where I can't be bothered to take it off and I could probably manage with it being like this. However, it's going to be a lot, lot, lot easier if I just take it off. So I think I'm going to take it off. See you in a minute. There we go. Much straighter. Didn't take too long to be honest. I'm just massively sweaty now. Right. So now we can get back to doing slats. So for my slats, I'm just using this white wood from Wix. 18 mil thick, 44 mil wide. I figured that should do it. That's a 10 pack. I figured I should just do them interlacing. I've seen a lot of people using ply, which is obviously good as well, but ply is so expensive at the moment. I'm trying to get out of this sun. I'm gonna be in the bush. But ply is so expensive at the moment and I don't really have any tools to cut big sheets of ply. If you do use ply, um, obviously you want to make sure to cut some holes in it because you need to <coughs> the, the bottom of the bed needs to be able to breathe, otherwise it will get mouldy. So slats obviously, lots of gaps. So yeah, just going to cut them with a the jigsaw, screw them down in place, I guess. So what I'm essentially going to do is just have them like that, sort of interlocking each other. Might do a bit of maths to see how many I can get out of how much wood I have. That'd be good, wouldn't it? Right, so I've cut all these slats. I haven't sort of laid them out in, like measured them to be completely equally spaced out. I've tried to bunch them up a little bit more towards the middle. But I mean, as long as they cover the vast majority of the bed, then I'm happy. Um, and then I'm just gonna count one, two, three, and cut some fit in the middle. We should be, yeah. Yeah. Boom, there we go. Yeah, I'm just gonna pre-draw some holes before screwing them down. I'm gonna use 45 mil wood screws. About that much. There we go, look. So, um, I think something I forgot to say yesterday was that um, the reason I waited so long to make the bed is just because I figured it would sort of get in the way when I'm sort of doing the shells and stuff because I can no longer walk through. But I've got to a point now where I'm going to be doing my plumbing. I'm going to have my water tank here. And I want to run the pipe along here and down to my shower unit. So I figured the best place was to do it now. Here it is from this side. Obviously I'm going to be plying the front. Can okay, have a little pull out drawer and stuff. And I'll probably put some ply on the other side as well, just to sort of along the top, like a frame. Again, just to sort of shore it up. But um, pretty simple, I think. Looks all right. 
I think it's time. It's time to do the taste test. See if it supports my weight. Oh. Thanks for watching anyway. Um, if you've got any questions or anything, ping them below. And if you like the video, give us a like, subscribe, all that stuff. And see you soon. Night.